Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, my beginner to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Popcorn allegedly dating Miss Jamaica Tony and Singh after being spotted together. Popcorn also get criticized for supporting politics in Grenada. Dancehall artist Bugle mourning the loss of his mother. Skeng drops another banger music video for a song called Gang Bang. Leon Bailey family and reggae artist G Wiz counting their blessings after both meeting in an accident. Chris Brown and Greensleeve in settlement talks over Red Rat song and Lincoln Tree that gets called out after Star Darkin's real age gets revealed. So the first thing we're going to talk about is some rumors over here. Well, actually, there's a photo over on Pinkwall right now, Zine people, and it's a photo of Popcorn and Miss Jamaica, Tony and Sing, and the two of them actually are sitting down close to each other, you understand? Kind of seem like they might be out on a date or something, Zine, but guess what, people? I'm going to just leave it for say it is alleged, even though people in the comments section are confirmed so popcorn and this girl actually they understand two of them are big people still but you don't know so a social media right so if a post like this make all the people are gonna react to it some females even in the comment section are talking about tony and going like them better than people and all them thing they understand what i say so that's the picture we post over from pink wall zine i'm gonna actually show now some of the comments them so you can see what i go on but as i say people two of them are two big people so even if them there i saw the thing about you know popcorn is kind of a private person or whatever so you understand what i say it's not a man where really show up him woman them so you don't know so when people see this they might go run with it and stuff like that so anyway somebody left a comment saying them there look from when them there on a lady personal go on for say them are big people you know and a little pitney well that are true still here's the woman said that person here confirmed said the two of them actually there me not confirm it because and i like me here tony and her popcorn actually come out and say it but you don't know popcorn do him thing you know me even see a girl i say popcorn love the little indian girls them so it is not a surprise if him actually there with her and thing you know tony and mix and nice prettier and all these things so you don't know big up yourself popcorn you know one thing me know is still all of the girls them where me know popcorn talk to like there's this other one where look nice and brown and thing i don't remember what she named you know popcorn always choose some nice females and thing but anyway people whether I'm an idea or not, you don't know a them business that, but it's over on social media right now, and you can just imagine the whole of comments them, is it? But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Since we're on the topic of Popcorn, Popcorn is also being criticized by some of the Grenadians, them, because he is actually supporting some politics business over there. He is actually scheduled to perform alongside with Jamil, you understand? And I guess they are supporting a party that goes by the name of NNP is him. I guess that stands for a new national party or whatever, and that is led by the current prime minister and him named Keith Mitchell. Is him a people? So that is scheduled. That event is scheduled for tomorrow, Friday, June the 10th. And you don't know some people are feel like a popcorn, you know, him not for really support anything that has to do with politics. You don't know the same thing like Buju did go over um, Belize the other day um, to support Shine. Remember, Shine was the brother we used to sign with Puff Daddy and him did end up got a prison and you know them deport him back a bellies him end up going a politics and Bujo go over there go support him people did a criticize um Bujo Bantan so it is a similar case where them feel like say popcorn you know them not even a criticize Jamil you know <laughs> a popcorn name them a call you see my people them a say pop if you kind of stay out of the politics thing and thing but I think them just book him for perform at that event maybe the prime minister go talk or whatever it may be and popcorn also posted a few clips on his Instagram story us you don't know him and him friend them are rolling you know i guess them in a them private plane for head over to grenada and thing is it people so check out these clips and they will finish up that topic here yeah where you go igbat jn brown i go over grenada boom them did in a head here you know jimmy the outside, Grenada we have a, Grenada we have a, we have a Look like, yo, I don't know what they do, I upset the dog, you're just still in trouble, right? You know, you know, say, a clone never blow him out. Put the dog in a police clone. Oh, what is this? Jabut! We going up in the, you know what I'm saying? Jabut, no smoking flight! Um, I just want to let you know, um, oh, let me... Yes! Them, them, 
<laughs> Yo, don't find a fault with me dice. Yeah, yeah you want dice no. before you talk. Where you show me dice you can. Oh, you be true so much time. Oh. <laughs> All right, people. So, let's see what I go on. Big up yourself, Popcorn, and go on the thing. Jamil, big up yourself as well. Yes, you man. Say. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about a bit of sad news as dancehall artist Bugle is mourning the passing of his mother. Yes, you my people. So, I'm get into this article. This way, you guys will get a better understanding of what's going on. So, it says Bugle bemoans the passing of his mom after a prolonged battle with cancer. Noted reggae stalwart Bugle is bemoaning the passing of his beloved mother who passed away moments ago at the University Hospital of the West Indies. It is understood that the singer's mom has been ailing for some time time and passed away Wednesday afternoon. Reports from the medical team are that she was diagnosed with cancer. The revelation has left Bugle, whose given name is Roy Thompson, discharged as he tries to come to terms with the unfortunate reality. The news came as Bugle was preparing for his live showcase on June the 23rd at Exit 21 alongside with fellow entertainer Tanya Stevens. He was also expected to depart the island for a series of international assignments in the coming weeks. So yes, people, more as a condolences to um, reggae artist Bugle. You understand what I say? People, it's very unfortunate and it's never an easy way to lose somebody you love. You understand? Your mother, father, family member, close friend. It's something, no matter how much time it happens, you can't get used to it. You understand? It's like a brand new feeling over and over because that is life and life is actually very precious. You understand what I say, people? So um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Keng, who actually dropped a brand new video that goes by the name of Gang Bang. Yes, my people, I'm not lie. Skeng not really feel for deliver. He's a youth who I actually respect. And I like the video. And I remember when he was over Trinidad the other day when he did have on the gold chain and he did a um, shoot the music video and thing. Well, that is the music video where he did a shoot over there. You understand? Gang Bang. I guess that was the reason why you did see so much people around him. And it have that bad man type of vibes to it. And even just the name of the title alone can also tell you what I'm talking about tonight. You understand? Now, I remember a video where it come out where Skeng was in, I think it's New York City, and them did say him did a walk with like liquor in him hand or something, Zin, and the police him did stop him or whatever. Even some of that video footage they actually in at the music video. You see what I'm saying? So, I wonder if that was supposed to be a part of it or them just take it out and drop it tonight. You never know. You understand? So, it's definitely a, you know, a good song. Only part I really like is when I talk about Mali again, you see me, and he night him say about pill of a pop, you see me people, he never call a word, but we know what kind of pills King I talk about, I know Panadol or Setamal or none of them they talk about, you see it, so, me is not a supporter of them pill popping business there, but the lyrics them, you know, you know a grimy thing and you don't know Skeng do him thing, it sound good still, I don't lie, so, you can go check out that music video over on Skeng Viva when you don't watch this video, you see me people, it name Gang Bang and you know, you can come back and tell me how much you rate it on a scale from 1 to 10. I actually get a 9.5. Except if him never did a talk about the Mali business, I would probably get a 10. Skeng definitely deliver. It's too short though. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Leon Bailey's family and also reggae singer G. Wiz counting their blessing after both of them was involved in an accident. You understand what I'm saying, people? So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to read the article about Leon Bailey's family first and then I'm going to show a video that G. Wiz posts after and a caption where he posted on his Instagram page as well. Is it my people? So this is what the article is saying. Leon Bailey's family feeling blessed after accident scare. The family of reggae boy striker Leon Bailey is counting their blessings after escaping an horrific car accident on Tuesday afternoon. Bailey's partner, Stephanie Hope, took to Instagram on Wednesday afternoon to share image after aftermath of the frightening ordeal. She expressed gratitude for being able to walk away with very minor bruises and just to be shaken up from such a traumatic experience. Honestly, not posting this for sympathy but to say God is real. He spared our lives yesterday and I am forever grateful. I will never take it for granted. I will continue to sing about how awesome of a God he is. We came out with a few bruises and my son came out with none. Thank God we are alive. This is our testimony. Be safe. She 
wrote, the images show an overturned white Mercedes SUV laying on its side on the banks of an highway with severe damage to the roof as well as on the windscreen on which Hope and her son Leo Bailey was traveling. It is understood that Bailey's mother and brother were the other passengers in the vehicle at the time, which was said to be traveling from St. Anne en route to Kingston. Leon himself was not involved in the accident and was with the reggae boys squad at the time of the CONCACAF showdown against Suriname at the National Stadium. The family has received an overwhelming show of concern and prayers of gratitude from all over, including from members of the national team. The Aston Villa forward was, however, able to put on a brave face and come on as a second-half substitute to help inspire the team to a victory of 3-1. Yes, it, people. So I forgive God thanks, say everybody all right in this situation. You see me? Whenever you're born up bones um, get broken or none of them things there. So, you know, let me know what you guys think about this. And now we're going to move on to reggae artist G Wiz. As I say, him did also involve in a little situation a few days ago. His situation actually happened before um, Leon Bailey's family situation. Is him a people? But check out the clip and then mega actually show no what he posted in the caption. Is it? So let's so watch this. Yeah, man. I don't care, yeah. Pick me off of the bike, is me? As you can see, the damage. So to be able to get up and walk away from an accident like this. Bro. Not normal, is it? So I'm there. New Kingston. Police station. I give a statement. There I give a statement. I don't know. Give thanks, you Still there. Mad. All right, people. So in the caption, him say, "Yesterday could have easily been my last day, but God." Here I am riding carefully, going when I had the right to go ahead. When this person carelessly brought the light, almost not let me go home to my wife and kids and cause sorrows to the ones that love me. The first thing the person did was to say, my ride out upon them. Luckily, I had a dash cam on my helmet and was able to show the footage, shape my effing head. Advice to all careful riders and drivers out there, get yourself dash cam to secure yourself in the event of anything. You see it, people. So I give thanks for life. One thing, I was glad to say the artist all right. You see what man say? He was on a bike and you don't know the thing or the person, I guess, them brought the light or whatever one thing. But I'm glad to say the artist all right because materialistic things can always be replaced. Remember that. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Lincoln Tree that being called out. You understand what I'm saying, people? And this has to do with Star Darkins. Now, recently, well, I don't know if I recently, but I just want to see them thing here, them information here. I'm not sure if it, is, if it is even true, but it's on Google, right? Now, when you type in Star Darkins, and this information was revealed over by Pinkwala, that's what I end up and know about it. You understand, people? So when you type in Star Darkins age on Instagram, I mean, on Google, basically, it tell you, say, she was born November the 6th, 2003, and she's 18 years of age. So right now, she's 18, Zane, and I guess in November, November the 6th, she's going to turn 19 and thing. Now, as I say, people, I don't say she come out and confirm this. But the reason why they call out Lincoln, obviously, is because... She young. You see what I say, people? I remember, you know, them said them did there for what, five years. Zane and, you know, she come up with the whole cousin thing and that's why them left her or whatever. Zane, people. But anyway, them said them did there for five years. So when you minus five from 18, how much that you get? Tell me, people. How much that you get? You have a daughter. You have to make sure they with a man at that age. Now, also, when you go over to Lincoln Tree, that age, guess how old he is? Yes, people, the same place have film age on it as well. Them say he was born July the 14th, 1987, and he's 34 years of age. So, he would have with her when he, if all of this information on people, I am going to say if because we can't trust nothing 100%, right? So, Minus 5 from 34, which would have make him 29, right, people? So, he would have with her when he was 29 and she would have been 13. No, I have nothing more to say. I don't see why the people are call him out. Now, I don't know if the information is correct. Cause I remember one time them did have Macadam and Age Rang on Google. Yes, woman said, like, say, shower. 
I don't know, some weird age they did FR. Yes, I think it's actually corrected now. I'm not 100% sure about Yeah, people, I don't have nothing more to say about this, you know. You can tell more anything. Star Darkins definitely don't look like 18 still. <laughs> yes, me. she look like a girl about 25 or 27 or something. No, maybe about 25. But anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the lawsuit settlement between Chris Brown and Greensleeve. And this has to do with um, a song where Red Rat did do. Chris Brown, they take out a line out of it and things. So this is where the story I say. Chris Brown, Greensleeves in settlement talks for copyright lawsuit over Red Rat song. Reggae label Greensleeve Publishing, American singer Chris Brown and his label Sony Music are looking to settle their legal dispute outside of court, but will need more time to potentially do so. According to court documents obtained by Dan Salmag, the three parties are engaging in settlement talks for the contentious US $1.5 million copyright lawsuit brought by the plaintiff Greensleeve in July 2021, which alleges that Brown and Sony ripped off lyrics and rhythms from, D from dancehall DJ Red Rat Tight Up Skirt 1997 and used them in Chris Brown Privacy 2017. On Monday, June the 6th, the attorneys for Greensleeve, Daniel J. Aaron, submitted a joint status report on behalf of all parties in the matter, requesting a 90-day extension to the scheduling ordeal, deadlines for different stages of the lawsuit. The request was granted a day later June the 7th by Judge Robert J. Leruger of the United States District Court, Southern District of New York. Aaron's indicated in the letter that he had conferred with Brown and Sony's attorney and that the parties voluntarily exchanged certain financial and other information in advance of formal discovery with the hope of potentially resolving the matter by way of settlement or minimally narrowing the issue in the case. The parties are continuing to explore creative business methods in an attempt to amicably resolve the matter without the need to burden the court. The parties have also exchanged discovery requests and are in the process of responding to those requests. The attorney also stated in the letter. So yes, people, I'm not going to read the full article. You can go up and dance all mag and you can check it out. You understand what I say about it? You remember that song they were red rat did have back in the days? Hey, you girl in the tight up skirt. Yeah, Chris Brown did use some of the line there and you know, the way how him sing it, it definitely can tell say a Red Rat sang him a, um, him a rip off, basically. You see me, Red Rat initially never really have a problem with Chris Brown doing the song. I don't think him even have a problem, but at the end of the day, you know, sometimes you do a song and you own it, you know, or the label own it. So, Greensleeve, a big label, you know how that go. Sony, a big label. So, the big dogs, them attack and you don't know, money I got exchange right about now. Maybe them now go get the, 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 the money where them did one. Ah, them are going to try to settle um, out of court and also, you know, as less as possible with them, with them company I can spin out or where them want to spin out. Is it my people? But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.